hello to all today we will be going to discuss about the general features of the chordates now chordates are having very peculiar features you can see here the very first is that the chordates are cosmopolitan cosmopolitan means they are worldwide and they are found in all type of habitats they may be aquatic they may be terrestrial or they may be aerial means found in air they are triploblastic means they are having three germ layers they are bilaterally symmetrical means they can be cutted in longitudinal plane and when cutted we get two equal parts and one part is the mirror image of the another half so they are bilaterally symmetrical they are having true segmentation now what is true segmentation in technical language we call it as metamerism true segmentation is called as metamerism now metamerism is found in the arrangement of the muscles in the embryonic stages and in the case of the adults this metamerism is found in the arrangement of the vertebras as well as the arrangement of the ribs okay now they may be cold blooded or warm blooded cold blooded means what they are not having the tendency to keep their body temperature constant their body temperature changes according to the ambient environment they are also called as the poikilothermal the examples of the cold blooded animals are fishes amphibians and reptiles or they may be also warm blooded warm blooded means what they are having a constant body temperature they never change their body temperature according to the ambient environment right that's why they are also called as the homeothermals the examples are the birds and the mammals only the birds and the mammals of the chordates are warm blooded okay now they are having two silom they are two silomate organisms and the silom type is enterocele and hence they are having enterocelous type of the silom the blood vascular system in them is a closed type means the blood is not flowing uh, in open spaces the blood is flowing in closed blood vessels the blood vascular system is closed type okay now respiratory pigment now because they have the rbc and in them in the rbc a red colored pigment is present known as the hemoglobin so the respiratory pigment found in them is hemoglobin heart is ventral in position the heart is ventral in position say for if we talk about the human beings which are also included in the chordates so we are having a ventral heart okay so heart is ventral in position they have a hepatic portal system means all the chordates are having hepatic portal system hepatic portal system is a via system means all the toxic substances carried by the veins do not open directly into the heart first they open into the liver hepatic means liver where the toxic substances are removed and then the blood vessel carries the blood in the heart so it is a hepatic portal system now renal portal system is also present but renal portal system is not found in the birds and the mammals all other chordates also have a renal portal system which is associated with the kidney but the birds and the mammals do not have a renal portal system now if we talk about the skeleton so both type of the skeletons are present exoskeleton as well as endoskeleton in maximum chordates exoskeleton is present right and if we talk about the endoskeleton so endoskeleton is also well developed in the chordates and it may be made up of cartilages or bones so we can say that endoskeleton may be cartilaginous or may be bony now if we talk about the kidney so they are having well defined kidneys for the purpose of the excretion if we talk about the kidneys then kidneys may be of three categories in different types of the chordates it may be pronephric mesonephric and metanephric now what we mean by pronephric mesonephric and metanephric this classification of the kidney is based on the position if it is present at the uppermost position it is pronephric if it is present at the middle position it is called as a mesonephric and it is present in the posterior most position then it is called as a metanephric okay so based on positions kidney may be of three types pronephric mesonephric and metanephric okay now chordates are generally unisexual means male and females are separate we can say that uh, they are having sexual dimorphism development of embryo 
development of embryo is generally direct means the embryo is not having embryo doesn't develop into the larva okay means larval stage is absent that is called as the direct development but in few indirect development is also there means few chordates may have exceptionally the larval stages okay and in dorsal blood vessel the blood flows from anterior to posterior side in dorsal blood vessel the blood flows from anterior to posterior side remember this thing and the alimentary canal as well as the digestive glands are very much well developed okay so these are the general features okay but there are four features more which are actually the fundamental features of the chordates which are especially definitely they will be found in the chordates in any stage of the lifespan and that are dorsal tubular nerve cord presence of dorsal tubular nerve cord presence of notochord presence of the pharyngeal gill clefts and the presence of the post anal tail are the primary or the fundamental features of the chordates so dear student this video was based on the general characteristics of the chordates will be coming soon with few more videos based on the chordates thanks a lot for watching me if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take